Noting that this is a risk all members of every branch of the United States military willfully take. Eifert, who has played in the NFL since 2013, said he now plans to combat these Kaepernick-inspired protests with a tradition of his own, where he now plans to write the name of a different military member on the heels of his shoes before each game, whether active, retired, killed or missing in action, or a prisoner of war. The first soldier that Eifert will honor is Pat Tillman, the former Arizona Cardinals player who declined a multi-million dollar contract to fight alongside his brother in the U.S. Army following the September 11, 2001, terrorist attacks, IJ Review reported. Tillman died in 2004 serving in combat in Afghanistan. Eifert went on, in 2002. He Tillman walked away from millions of dollars and a dream most people couldn't imagine achieving to do one thing, fight for his country, Eifert wrote. Put wasn't fighting for himself, he wasn't fighting for one group versus another, he was fighting for Americans. Fifteen years after Tillman gave up his NFL career to give the ultimate sacrifice for his country with his life, Eifert said he is sad to see the division that is plaguing America and says that our flag is the only thing that can unify us. He continued, In this world of turmoil, I still believe in one thing strongly and that's the flag and everything our country was built on. As I stand for the national anthem, I don't want there to be questions of why I am standing or if I will kneel. I want there to be a clear understanding of why I stand. I want there to be a clear understanding of why I respect our flag and why I love our country. Hopefully Eifert's new tradition will spread in popularity, as more and more NFL players are taking a stance against these vile protests. Several weeks back, Green Bay Safety, HAHA Clinton Dix, shocked the nation with an incredible act of patriotism and heartfelt gesture towards our police officers taking the field with a pair of cleats with the names of the two officers who were tragically killed in the line of duty by cop-hating thugs. The NFL League has invested quite a bit of money into falsely presenting themselves as patriotic organization over the years, only to have it destroyed by these spoiled and douchey millionaire NFL players who want to use the football field to whine about their oppression. But now with patriotic American-loving players like Eifert and HAHA starting their own traditions on the field, Kaepernick's legacy could soon be completely destroyed. We don't need no